Hi, this is JP Morgan. And I'm Julene Morgan. And today we're going to show you how to highlight hair in Photoshop. We're back at the computer here with Jolene. Jolene's gonna help us do some retouching. I'm gonna open this image in Camera Raw and do kind of my adjustments in Camera Raw. I feel pretty comfortable in Camera Raw. But then Jolene's gonna take it into Photoshop and kind of do a few things to kind of make the image look a little better. So let's get started. I'm going to uh, just mess with the exposure a little bit in Camera Raw. I'm gonna brighten her face up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna mess with the contrast just a hair. I'm gonna push my clarity up just a tiny bit. And I may pull, open up the black just a little bit, just to separate her off that background, because that background is nice and black and it holds really nice. So if I open up the black just a little bit, it's gonna let her hair start to separate from the background. Bring the whites back just a little bit. There we go. So there's looking at it with the preview on and off. We get a little nicer highlight in her hair. There's still some things we can do to this image for sure. Are we too bright on her skin? Or is that giving no, you enough to work with? That's good. Okay. All right. So we're gonna open our image. So now at this point, that camera has gotten us a ways down the road, but there are a lot of other things we can still do. What would you do here at this point, Jolene? Okay, besides basic retouching of her skin to get rid of any blemishes or anything, um, what, one thing I almost always do to an image is a, a S-curve adjustment. So you go to this, um, go to your layer palette and this little circle uh, with a diagonal line through it. Open that up and go to curves. In the curves adjustment, you can make it brighter, you can make it darker. But what I do is, it's called a, a slight S curve. And you, over here, you pull up a little bit to make it brighter and down a little bit to, to make it darker. And what that does is it, it kind of increases the contrast slightly. Um, JP kind of already did this in raw, so I'm looking at it thinking it's overkill. But if I was just pulling it into Photoshop, I would do this little curves adjustment. Um, besides that, the, the, the thing that I look at is um, if you want to separate her hairline from the background, a, a quick thing that you can do is you just add a layer, uh, go to your um, um, paintbrush, and you want to paint in some white to where, where you want to brighten up her hair to separate it. So I'm just, I'm just painting in some white right here. You're not trying to hit the actual line of the line, the outside at all or anything? No. It's another way to add a nice highlight actually to her hair as well. I like to sometimes go over the really bright areas to just make it a little brighter. Now you can do um, a blend mode and I take it over to overlay or soft light. Soft light doesn't work. But overlay works pretty well, but then you turn the opacity down to where it looks believable and acceptable. There you can see it's brightened up the bright areas of her hair. So you can do that to help separate dark hair from a dark background. That actually looks really good. That works out fabulous. So there's a quick tip on how you can highlight hair and separate it from the background. So keep those cameras rolling. And keep on clicking. Hi, this is JP Morgan. I've shot for over 25 years in the Los Angeles area. I've taught at our schools. I've had an opportunity to really understand the business of photography and understand the, the path that new people need to take to get into this business. So I'd love a chance to mentor with you. If you go to thuslinelens.com and click on the mentoring button, you can sign up for a time and we can sit down together for an hour and a half on Skype, via Skype, and I can talk to you about the problems you're facing. I can help you understand some of the things that maybe you don't quite know that you need to do to make it in this business. So check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to The Slanted Lens. We're hanging out here. We're waiting for you to subscribe. Quick, subscribe. I can't do this all day. You've got to subscribe. Quick. We're almost there. Thanks for subscribing. That was nice. We appreciate you being with us.